Uh, I'll try and uh, be short. Professor Noach Efron, Professor Mayrov, Dr. Ilya Stambler, Dr. Salmon, distinguished guests. Uh, I will just go through a few anecdotes, not uh, necessarily uh, in a chronological, chronological uh, manner, uh, regarding uh, my father. The first that comes to my head is uh, the day that he passed away. Uh, at that day, after the initial uh, shock, uh, I was trying to to imagine, imagine him going, uh, meeting the Almighty at the beginning of the afterlife. And uh, then I imagine him coming to him with a plan how to uh, improve the longevity and the quality of life, of the eternal life. <laughs> because uh, he was Till his last uh, day, he was always uh, with the belief of the, the, the belief in, in man, in uh, humanity, in, in our ability to, to control our fate. And uh, actually, in a very naive way, uh, one should say, he believed that research could find uh, solutions. Uh, to many problems which which other people see them as uh, uh, unsolved, and uh, uh, this really defined him. This is one anecdote. Another anecdote is uh, something I remember from quite a younger age. I think it was maybe at the late 70s or beginning of the 80s, that he, uh, after uh, taking, uh, I don't know if it's an overdose or too much, of uh, niacin, he was all flushed and red, having a toxicity, toxicity uh, reaction to niacin. So he believed already in these years when it was very uh, rare, he believed in, uh, in food additives. And they tried to to uh, to do something about about the, 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 the his own aging. Uh, and now the last anecdote that I would like to talk about is uh, is uh, considering quite a uh, let's say uh, failure of him which is uh, uh, the, polar, the, the Polar case. Uh, after, after it all exploded in the, uh, and he knew, I mean, before it exploded in the news, but when he already knew that uh, uh, Polar was, uh, Jonathan Polar was caught, uh, and he knew, he acknowledged at the time, that it was his personal failure, uh, his, uh, let's say, uh, professional failure. Uh, but he also understood the severity and the, the, of the consequences to Israel and USA, USA uh, relationship. So, not only that he immediately uh, resigned of his duties, but he said to everyone, even though he always acted with permission and authority, even though he acted in this, ma in this manner, he, he took the whole responsibility on himself, saying, that it was his private endeavor, his private, uh, let's say, enterprise. So, uh, and in this way, he he succeeded in mitigating a much, much.
much, much uh, more serious, uh, let's say, uh, 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 problem with the, with the relations between Israel and the USA. And I wish that uh, today politicians, today leader would take uh, the same steps in being responsible for both sides, in being responsible to our future. Thank you very much.